Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Drew. So I'm ready to start painting this Sherman. And uh, off camera, I just gave it a coat of black Stino Res primer. And I went ahead and kind of did the black and white method where you paint a little bit of the um, uh, white paint on there to try to get some color differential in the olive drab. We'll see how it turns out. And for the main paint, I'm going to use um, Vallejo Model Air Olive Drab. Like that. So we get the airbrush loaded up and we'll get to painting. Okay, so for the tracks, I'm using uh, Tamiya XF64 Dark Iron. This is what the instructions call for, so never used this before, so we'll see what it looks like. And on the tracks, I did Prime uh, with Stano Res Black. So let's take a look and see what the Dark Iron looks like. I'll paint these spare tracks first.
All right, everybody, I'm going to pause. I did a lot of stuff off camera, so let me just show you where I'm at. Um, after I got everything assembled and the tracks on, I gave everything a gloss coat with Model Masters uh, Gloss Clear. I put the decals on, and they went down pretty well. I also painted the tools and put those on. Let's see that there. All right, so I will say the tracks fought me. Um, I think the next time I do one of these kits where you have tracks that are in separate parts, I think I'm gonna paint them while they're on the sprue and then put them on, whoops, sorry about that. And then put them on the way the instructions tell you to <laughs> and certain parts in particular order find it here in the instructions. Heck. Oh, there we go. Okay, so, all right. Um, so what happened when I had them off and I painted them and I started trying to put them on, um, you know, parts would come apart or I think I may have had them reversed. I, I'm not sure. And I know I've seen people build this kit and the tracks come out perfectly when they put them on just like just like this in order so I think I'm going to paint them first and then um, put them on put them in the order that Tamiya recommends so you get them lined up perfectly um, I really had to do a lot of super gluing and uh, as you can see right there uh, there's just some flaws I'm not real happy the, the sprockets aren't in there as they should be so I think with a wash and some pigments, it'll kind of cover that up. But overall, I'm pretty, I'm really, really excited for this kit. I'm not really uh, enjoying it so far. You can see I got a, some nice uh, color differentiation by doing the um, uh, black and white method. And you can see here. So, <clears throat> all right. So the next step is to do some weathering. I also need to do some painting and I got a little set of stowage for a 148 scale uh, Sherman tank and this is from value gear and uh, here's the website valuegeardetails.com and he sells all scales of tank stowage American tanks German tanks British tanks um, I just happened to pick the Sherman set number six he's got several i just thought well i'll just get number six and um okay and so and he's also the owner of steve is a really nice guy he actually sent me a personal email and just said hey thanks for shopping with me etc cetera, etc cetera, and uh, you know send me pictures um, but check him out i got his uh information from andy's hobby headquarters well, let me show you i haven't even opened these up yet let's see what we have So these are resin parts, and so got some uh, little boxes and uh, bed rolls and tarps and tent rolls, and um, how nicely detailed that is. That's awesome. It's gonna be really fun painting these. <clears throat> There's a spare wheel. You know, Shermans have to be. Uh, loaded up with all kinds of stowage and stuff and some uh, knapsacks here in the instructions it tells you how to bend resin parts uh, so you can kind of wrap it around the turret um, here's another looks like bed roll another knapsack here's some uh, separate knapsacks that you see oftentimes are hanging around the turret uh, here's another maybe a tent or bed roll um, it's got someone's got a helmet on there so this is gonna be really fun to put put some of these on the tank uh, here's some extra just other boxes you know, ammunition K rations whatnot so this is gonna be really cool so check uh, check value gear out valuegeardetails.com for tank stowage 
And I even saw that he's uh, got tank stowage for 172 and 176 tanks. So, so what I need to do is I just need to clean up a little bit of the resin flash um, and get these primed and painted. And then I'm going to weather the tank. And I also need to paint the commander. I got him built. So I'll get him primed and get everything put together and start weathering. All right, be right back. 